Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Imaging Edge Mobile app with your Sony camera. Now I just uninstalled and reinstalled the app again so that everything is back to its default settings. And you can download this app on the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the app and connect it to your camera. Let's click on open. There we go. And this is the first page that you'll see after installing it. So select your country slash region. This is already correct. I'm going to press agree and proceed. Then you need to agree to the privacy policy. So just scroll down after reading. And then check the boxes. Okay, it's taking a while to load. There we go. We're going to check this. And then agree and start the application. Now you can sign in or skip. So I'm going to skip for now. Then select what best describes your relationship with photography. So let's choose videography. There we go. Obviously you can choose whatever you want, but for me it's videography since I do YouTube videos using my camera. Next. Subjects of interest. So let's see. I guess vlog. Start. Okay. Allow. Okay. And allow access to your precise location. So click on while using the app allow and you can select your camera so it's not one of those models other than the above there we go now this is the main menu and you can connect your camera from here okay to connect your camera to your phone tap on this plus icon over here that says camera connections last registration now we'll give you a short tutorial over here but in my opinion I'd highly recommend using the SSID slash password that's the most reliable way to connect to your camera since not all smartphones have NFC or all these QR codes. So we're going to connect using the camera SSID slash password since I think it's the most reliable and the simplest way to connect to your camera. So click on this over here. Then click on enter SSID and password and this will take you to the settings app. So click on settings. Okay, here's my settings app. Now on your camera, you want to click on the playback button and hold it. So let's hold down the playback button over here. It looks like this. Let me zoom in. Okay, this is the playback button. You want to hold on it and let go once the camera turns on. Then tap on menu and go over here to wireless. Now if you have a touchscreen camera, you can just tap on wireless. But since my camera isn't touchscreen, I got to use these buttons over here. So we have up, down, left, and right. Or you can also use your scroll wheel and spin it around like this until you get to wireless. Then tap the center button over here to click on wireless, send to smartphone, then select on smartphone. So we're going to go one step down and if click enter and wait for the Wi-Fi standby. Now you'll get something like this, the SSID and password of the Wi-Fi. So it's really simple. All you need to do is connect to this Wi-Fi network on your phone settings app. So let's go to the settings app. So as of now, this is my current Wi-Fi, the 5G, my home Wi-Fi. And then if I scroll down, I'll see the Wi-Fi of the camera. So this is the Wi-Fi. I'm going to click on it. Okay, it's connecting. Now it's not asking me for a password since this phone was already previously connected to this camera. But if it's your first time connecting it, then you'll be asked for the password. And that was the one showed on the camera screen earlier. So here we go, we're connected. Now I'm going to go back to the Imaging Edge mobile app. Now the app recognizes my camera. So DSC WX500, that's the model of the camera. And it may have different text depending on what model your camera is. So I'm going to click on start. Okay. And there we go. Now I can see all the photos and videos that I took using this camera. So these are videos over here. Just like that. And it's in chronological order. So this is September 7, 2022. We can go back down here like... August 29, 2022, August 27, it's a photo shoot on my phone. And you can select some or view them just like this. So let's check this for example to select it. And if you want to save it to your device, all you need to do is click on this button down here, just like that. And click OK. So this is the image size for importing 2 megapixels. There we go. Now it's imported onto my device. And if you want to modify the image size, you can tap on the three dots at the top right. Then select image size for importing, and I'd highly suggest putting it on original so you don't lose any quality. 
Now let's check if I save that image onto my phone. Okay, this is the image that I just saved from my camera. So there we go, from Imaging Edge Mobile, and it's pretty clear. Now I can post it to whatever site I want, like Instagram for example. So that's how you can easily transfer your photos and videos to your phone. Now I'm going to show you one more feature, which is the Play Memories camera apps. Aside from connecting to your camera, you can also wirelessly control it on selected models. So first, open the menu. Let's turn the camera on and then click on menu. Then select application and go over here to application list. Then smart remote embedded. Let me wipe the screen really quick. Hopefully you can see well. It's actually full of scratches. There we go, we'll have the SSID and password just like earlier. Now you can connect your camera like I showed you earlier in the settings app. But if you already connected your camera previously, then all you need to do is go to the settings app and connect to this specific Wi-Fi network. So let's go back to settings, then go to Wi-Fi, and then click on the camera. So let's wait for it to load. There we go. I'm going to click on it, connecting. OK, now let's move over to the Imaging Edge mobile app. And then, just like earlier, click on start. But this time, instead of connecting to your camera and showing you your photos and videos, it's going to show you a live feed of your camera. So here we go, we have a live feed. Pretty cool, right? This is very useful. Now let's, what does it say? Unable, unavailable in this shooting mode. Switch to another mode. Okay, so it doesn't work in this mode. Let's switch to intelligent auto, for example, and it will work over there just like that or we can also switch to our video mode over here and record videos so for now let's use intelligent auto just for the demonstration now I have a plant over here on my desk I'm gonna point it at the plant check this out I have my live view just like that and we have some buttons over here like W and T so tell a photo and wide we can zoom in and zoom out we have our timer and playback there we go display what does this do Okay, so those are the options. You can also rotate your screen just like this. And we can switch modes on the camera. So this one doesn't actually do anything. You have to physically move the dial over here. So let's say a uh, movie mode. Or video mode. There, movie. So we can choose movie. And now, instead of a shutter button, we have a record button. There's a record button. So very nice. Let me show you. So for example, if I move my camera around, we have the live feed, just like that. I can also adjust using the camera, so like zoom in or zoom out on the camera or on the phone. And this is really useful, especially for vloggers who want to see themselves. Now not all cameras have a flippy screen like this one. So if you want to do some vlogging, then this is also pretty useful. Or if your camera is placed at a different angle and you cannot see the screen of the camera, then you can look through your phone instead also really convenient to start and stop your recording without touching your camera. Now hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and it, you found it helpful. Hopefully you'll be able to connect your camera to your phone. Feel free to leave a question or comment down below and please like and subscribe for more and help support the channel. So thanks for watching.